South Windsor for today's 20 Towns in 20 Days Fall Edition. And if you're into doing DIY projects, this is definitely for you. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis takes us to Hammer and Stain for today's Small Business Spotlight. Home is where the heart is, or where the cute DIY sign tells you it is. Stephanie Peters opened a DIY workshop, Hammer and Stain, in South Windsor just six months before the pandemic. Flash forward to today, she enjoys sharing her love of crafting with others. And I used to make signs out of my house and sell to people that way. And a few times I did it with friends and I showed them how I did it and they, I instructed them the same way I do at the studio. And when they took their stencils off and they saw how, you know, their project looked like it was store bought, um, the gratification that I saw in their face was so like kind of exciting that it made me want to open a studio so I can do it with people every day. Peters offers workshops, take home kits and private events where she gives step by step instruction along the way. And they look intimidating and difficult, but we have very easy um, ways to accomplish all of them and it's always the people that come in saying I'm not crafty it's not gonna come out good that winds up being the most proud of their project like this shelf sitter first you'll use the squeegee and rub over the design with a little bit of elbow grease you can see the stencil going on to the whitewashed wood kiss the top of the paint with the sponge and then scrape it back off and then just dab straight up and down Within minutes, you can peel the stencil back for a finished product. So look at that. Look, so cute. <laughs> and in no time, you get the cutest little sign. And it's not just wood products. Hammer and Stain offers other projects, like these cozy hand-knitted blankets, even ceramics. So we literally have something for everybody, even kids. We do kids' projects. Uh, coming up on October 16th, we have our annual uh, Fall Family Day where kids will get to make their own customized and personalized trick-or-treat bag. Uh, and moms will be able to shop our retail section. We'll have pre-made projects like this one for anybody who wants to purchase. But Peters says while the projects are of course a big draw, it's more about the experience for people who come into her studio. It's just fun. It's a place where women for the most part come and let loose and they were BYOB, so they have a drink or two with their girlfriends. They let loose on a Friday night. They're only here for two to three hours, so they're home early. And their family sees them come home with something that they can enjoy for the rest of their life. So it, it's like a win-win for everybody. In South Windsor, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.